What's up, y'all? And welcome back to another Sunday dinner. It's me, your favorite Southern Belle, Susie Homemaker. All right, so for this Sunday dinner, we have a one pot meal. Well, I'm gonna make it two because I don't like putting my noodles all together with all my stuff. But anyways, we're gonna have a one pot meal um, of beef stroganoff, okay? So if you ever had this before, if you never had it, or if you usually use Hamburger Helper, here's your chance to make it at home by yourself. If you like a Hamburger Helper, let me know in the comments below because we can have more one pot meals just like this one okay but tonight we're gonna make beef stroganoff and we are about to get started happy halloween first of all y'all let me say it feels good to be back after a long week and some change i think it was there's been a lot going on but let's get into this meal real quick first we're gonna cut up our mushrooms right here and after that, we're gonna take it to cutting up an onion and only use a half of that. We're just gonna chop up all our vegetables before we get ready to heat up the pan and dump everything into the pan. Watch me struggle cut up this onion, y'all. Like, watch me. First of all, trying to get my nails out the way and stuff, y'all, or whatever. But we gonna do it, we, we, we get through it, see? But anyway, just thank you guys for joining, joining us again for another Sunday dinner. Um, it feels good to be back after a week in some change break. There's been a lot going on. Let's pause again because we're going to heat up our pan with some olive oil in it. I think that's about on medium high, probably, I want to say. And I'm about to do something so ghetto, but I stopped myself. Look at it. I'm about to use the onion to scrape everything in. Let's act like we have some class and grab a spatula. There we go go there we go and we're just gonna dump our onions and our um, mushrooms into our frying pan and let that saute up really good and nicely before we get ready to um, dump our meat in we got some spillage over there to the side and just keep wasting but it's okay we get most of it in and we got our big pot back there ready for our noodles as I said I don't like cooking my pasta inside of it's sauce it just don't work out for me we don't cut up everything um not everything we're gonna cut up the meat and this right here is just some um stir fry beef i could not find beef tips feel free to use beef tips ground beef whatever you want to use ground turkey um in substitute of if you don't eat beef or anything or if you can't find beef tips but i would prefer to make this with beef tips but we got some beef stir fry instead and we just cut that up a little bit more to um, give us some more beef in the pot and they are actually really long slices so to make them a little small a um, little bit smaller pieces and we're just gonna stir that up and let that cook up anyways um, it's been a long week and some change like I was saying and um, a lot of events have happened from homecoming, family visiting, us getting sick, Halloween, all that good stuff. So again, this is after Halloween and our first Sunday dinner back. So welcome back to the channel, y'all. We just added some garlic in there and we're gonna let that continue to cook. It's making some broth down there. So we're gonna season the meat up, give our broth and our meat some flavor. And we don't have to drain anything because your flavor is all down there in your broth. We use some garlic powder, some onion powder, that with some Italian seasoning. That's some smoked paprika right there, a little bit of salt, and a little bit of pepper we had put in there. I'm gonna mix that up again. And we're getting ready to throw our noodles up in our pot there. Um, this meal does not take long at all, literally 30 minutes. I finished this meal from start to finish in about 45 because 
of taking my time. I don't like to cook fast. Um, but yeah, this meal should really only take you about 30 minutes to cook all up. See, look, you see my little dish towel with the spider web and a spider on it? That's how you know it was almost Halloween time because I changed my kitchen out. We're going to add some Worcestershire sauce up in there. If I said that right, Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> I don't know why I get a get of saying that sauce name funny like that. We're going to add some extra beef broth um, from the container to give us a little bit more liquid. And then we're going to add some sour cream. And we're just gonna mix that all up in there. And this is after the meat finished cooking completely. And we're gonna mix that up. And we're gonna still continue to let that simmer at this point. I believe I might have my eye already turned down to about medium low, low for the most part, because we're just letting the flavors meal together and simmer. We're gonna check on our noodles back there. I filled that pot up to the rim, okay? Because like always, we have some hungry folks coming over and we all be eating, okay? I don't think it was none left after this meal and they be liking lunch, but anyways. That's what our meat and our sauce look like so far. We're gonna add a little bit of cheese in here. This isn't a cheesy dish, but I like to put the Parmesan in just for the flavor and for the taste, at least to me. You don't have to add it. It's very much so optional. And we're going to mix that again and we are going to let that simmer and move on this is a back and forth meal so you don't really have time to sit and break or anything like that um we're going to check on our noodles again and make sure they're done and add some cream to this pot and again it's still on low still simmering there goes our noodles they were done we turned them off but I dump them in the strainer and then dump them in a pot like that. And you see this meal is done. I'm just mixing in the noodles. I'll probably, I think I let it sit on the stove for about five minutes or so on low and then turned it completely off and just let it sit. And all the flavors just simmer together. So when it's done, it becomes nice and thick and ready to serve. Look at there. That's after mixing it all together and stuff. I low-key want to go make this right now. It looks so good. It looks real good. I think I'm, I'm we might have to have this this week or something. But yeah, y'all. There you have it. That is Sunday dinner and beef stroganoff. All right, y'all. Thank you for joining us for another Sunday dinner. I hope you've had fun watching and learning on how to make your own hamburger helper at home okay it's real easy real quick it takes about 30 minutes to make the whole thing so stop buying it off the shelf and just make it yourself that's all you got to do all right and happy sunday remember to follow like subscribe and comment feel free you guys talk to me see you next time bye